Peter, 55 years old, guidance counsellor. I love working with young people. During term time, I work as a guidance counsellor in a high school. But from June to September, I run a summer camp by the sea for those children who don't have the opportunity to go on holiday. In my free time, I also run language immersion courses for teenagers aged between 13 and 18. Sophrology is a technique to promote health and well-being and it has really helped me manage stress and given me a more relaxed approach to my work, my hobbies, my social life and to my illness. Since I started on dialysis, I have really tried not to change my life, but just to look at things in a different way. I try to put everything in perspective, take a step back and reflect that there are far more serious things in life than dialysis. I've known for a long time that I would probably need dialysis. I found out when I was 20 that my kidneys weren't in good shape as they had been damaged by multiple cysts. The disease is hereditary. My dad and my grandfather were both affected by the same condition. Although I managed to keep well for more than 30 years, I needed to start dialysis in 2009. I am on the waiting list for a kidney transplant, but in the meantime I have opted for continuous ambulatory peritoneal dialysis, usually called CAPD. Having CAPD allows me to carry on with all the things I love in my life, as I can do my dialysis exchanges at work, home or at summer camp. I would find it very difficult to lose this independence if I had to go to a hospital three times a week for dialysis. I certainly wouldn't be able to continue all my activities and it would definitely mean I had to change my way of life. At the moment I have to do three exchanges every day and each one takes about half an hour to complete. I do one in the morning, another at about six in the evening and the last one just before bed at around 11. While I am doing my dialysis sessions, I keep myself occupied by reading my newspaper or watching TV. It doesn't feel as though I am performing my treatment. On the whole, it's not painful. All I'm doing is emptying dirty solution from my peritoneal cavity and filling it with a fresh dialysis solution. It's pretty clever how simple it is. Apart from some practical constraints, for example, during a party, when I need to isolate myself to do an exchange, I live a completely normal life. How do I see my future? I simply want to continue my independent lifestyle, full of the activities that I enjoy. But to be honest, I've always got my phone on, in case I get a call from my renal unit, to tell me they've got a new kidney for me. <laughs>